Hello my fellow miner, today we're going to have a look at lot miner version 1.47 versus G miner version 2.90 in Ethereum Torncoin tool mining. Now before you skip ahead, let's make something very clear. So every time I make one of these tool mining videos, I get a lot of very exciting comments like boo these watts are not real or ha 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 hacker scammer watts or try a hard watts faker or dude all your watts are wrong. Yeah, that one is fantastic. Or, oh my god, learn to do math, bro. I saw the entire video, but you didn't explain what, and I cannot watch this too fake. Now, that is most likely due to the person writing the comment skipping ahead and missing the 45 times I say that you need to add Ethereum and Torncoin watts together. I know it can be very hard, like, 49.5 plus 49.5 is 800. But really, use a calculator then. It should be relatively easy to add two numbers together, even with a calculator. You can actually also just use times. 2 times 49.5 is not equal 800. Usually, unless you're really drunk. But of course it was not you who wrote any of those comments. Because you are my very favorite viewer. You are the number one in my heart and you would never write anything like that because you watched the entire video. My bestest. And that actually brings me to the next point. As you most likely have a notice, English is not my native language. If you look under the dude all your words are wrong, there you'll see a very nice comment called all your words are belong to us, because that is how I actually read it the very first time. I was very tired, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that is from a very nice game I grew up with called Zero Wing. Yes, I'm that old, I grew up with Zero Wing. So before you blame me for my lack of perfect English, please remember, I grew up with English translations that are like these. The basic translation from Japanese, if you do it correctly, is engineer. It appears someone has planted explosives. And the one I learned my English from, the English translated version, mechanic, someone set up us the bomb. Luckily I'm not a terrorist, so I don't use that one that much. My favorite is, although uh, I really like the one someone set up us the bomb, uh, is the one that everyone is making a meme about. With the help of Federation government forces, Katz has taken all of your bases. And of course, if you are living in an English-speaking country or get the English translated version, you would think that all your base are belong to us is the correct way to say it. These are just some of the few examples. I also grew up with Nintendo and thought that Monkey Kong was Donkey Kong. Obviously, they translated it very wrongly there as well. But the English translations are actually not bad. You learn to be very efficient. Like uh, if you see here, we are counting on you, six. And then the English translation is move sick. That is short and efficient. And with that, let's go on and have a look at the graphic card introduction. Quickly moving on like a ninja. Uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3050 from MSI, the Ventus 2X, the RTX 3060, LHR version 2 from Soltag Gaming. It has been working perfectly and very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their Tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There, now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes, a piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. We also have the MSI Venture 3, which is also an RTX 3060 Ti, rocking Hynix RAM. But this time it's a revision 2, and that means it can actually clock up to 1700 in Windows or 3400 in HiveOS. This very nice card is super slim and super noisy. Then we have the RTX 3070. I chill 4X from Eno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. 
Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060, oh boy was I wrong, what a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead, even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. The RTX 3080 12GB RAM edition from Gigabyte, the gaming overclock, LHR Extreme. Okay, it's not actually called Extreme. Unfortunately, my RTX 3080 Ti is on vacation and will be back after repairs. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. Now let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings. First up is the RTX 3050. In high OS I locked the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 2200 which is 1100 in Windows. If you're using Windows, simply create a batch file based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. In high OS I locked the core clock at 1552 and the memory clock to 2600. That is 1300 in Windows. If you are using Windows, simply create a bash file based upon what you see here and remember to run it as admin. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Memory Revision 1. In high voice, I lock the core clock to 1350 and the memory clock to 2100, which is 1050 in Windows. If you have a dual fan RTX 3060 Ti using Hynix Memory Revision 1, then you may only be able to clock at 1800. Simply create a bash file based upon what you see here if you are using Windows. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Memory Revision 2. In high voice I locked the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 3200. That is 1600 in Windows. However, this is the Revision 2 and you can actually go even higher. I don't because I don't feel comfortable with it. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070. In high OS I locked the core clock at 11.25 and the memory clock to 2600 which is 1300 in Windows. If you are using Windows, simply create a batch file based upon what you see here and run it as admin. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti. In high OS I locked the core clock at 900 and the memory clock to 2300, which is 1150 in Windows. If you are using Windows, simply create a bash file based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 10 gigs. In high voice, I lock the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 3400, that is 1700 in Windows. If you are using Windows, simply create a bash file based upon what you see here. And please remember to run it as admin. Now let's have a look at the final card before I get my RTX 3080 Ti back from repairs, the RTX 3080, 12 gigs. In high voice, I locked the core clock at 1400 and the memory clock at 2400. That is 1200 in Windows. If you are using Windows, simply create a bash file based upon what you see here. And now the time has finally come to have a look at the average reported results. But first, the high voice configurations. They are pretty straightforward and pretty easy. But before that, let's have a quick look at the fees. Fees are bad and we don't like them. At all. However, now the lot miner fee is also 1% and it's Ethereum only, which means it's half a percent less than Gminer. And that is actually quite awesome. It would be better if they actually paid us to use their miners, but the world is not like that, unfortunately. Here's a tip, try to implement commercial breaks in the miners. I think a lot of us would appreciate a completely free version with a little commercial break in between. Nope, bad idea. There's a reason why I pay for YouTube Premium. 
Remember, if you are a YouTube Premium subscriber, then you can actually download all my videos and watch them on the go. But then again, if you are a Premium subscriber, you most likely also live in a country where you have 5G and then there's absolutely no reason to download anything. Oh well, let's move on and have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3050. LOL miner Ethereum 14.3 MHz per second at 50 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.286. Toncoin 916.2 MHz per second at 50 watts, which gives an efficiency rating of 18.324. Yes, the total watts here is 100 or 800 depending on how you are looking at it. Now, G minor Ethereum, 17.3 MHz per second at 49.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.349. Toncoin, 726.5 MHz per second at 49.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 14.677. And no, it is still not 800 watts. Oh, actually in this case it is because it is 49.5 watts times 2. And yes, I often use sarcasm. It is fine. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060. Lot minor Ethereum. 38.1 MHz per second at 69.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.548. Toncoin. coin. 1098.3 MHz per second at 69.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 15.803. G minor Ethereum 36.6 MHz per second at 68 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.538. Toncoin 988.7 MHz per second at 68 watts, which gives an efficiency of 14.540. And now the fantastic RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1. Yes, that was sarcasm. LOL minor. 45.8 MHz per second at 80.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.569. Toncoin, coin 1294.1 MHz per second at 80.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 16.076. T-minor Ethereum, 43.9 MHz per second at 78 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.563. Toncoin. coin 1200 MHz per second at 78 watts, which gives an efficiency of 15.385. G-minor reported in gigahertz, and I have no idea what the decimals are as they don't write it. So here, 1200 MHz per second is the same as 1.2 gigahertz, with no decimals whatsoever after that. I have no clue if they have rounded up or down. Now it's time for the actual fantastic RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2. LOL Miner Ethereum, 49.5 MHz per second at 95.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.518. Toncoin, 1443.4 MHz per second at 95.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 15.114. T minor Ethereum 47.6 MHz per second at 93 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.512. Toncoin 1300 MHz at 93 watts with an efficiency of 13.979. And now the RTX 3070. LOL minor Ethereum 47.9 MHz per second at 74 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.647. Toncoin 1325.4 MHz per second at 47 watts, which gives an efficiency of 17.911. G minor Ethereum 45 MHz per second at 72 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.625. Toncoin 1200 MHz per second at 72 watts, which gives an efficiency of 16.667. And now the most magnificent card of them all. The top quality card from Sotai Gaming, the RTX 3070 Ti that throws thermal padding at you and comes with extra screws. LOL Miner Ethereum, 60.6 MHz per second at 105.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.574. Toncoin, coin, 824.5 MHz per second at 105.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 7.815. G minor Ethereum, 58.8 MHz per second at 105 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.560. Toncoin, 
801.4 MHz per second at 105 watts, which gives an efficiency of 7.632. And now it's time for the RTX 3080 10 gigs. LOL Miner Ethereum. 79.3 MHz per second at 156.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.507. Tontcoin 2600, 3.5 MHz per second at 156.5 watts, which gives an efficiency of 16.636. G minor Ethereum 76.6 MHz per second at 157 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.488. Tontcoin 2500 MHz per second at 157 watts, which gives an efficiency of 15.924. Before we move on from here, I'll remove all the text so we can have a little surprise for all the skippers. Skippers, as in those who skip to the ending of the video, not actually sailors. And now, the RTX 3080 12 gigs LOL Miner Ethereum. 47.3 MHz per second at 145 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.326. Tontcoin, 3024.2 MHz per second at 145 watts, which gives an efficiency of 20.857. G minor Ethereum 66.6 MHz per second at 167 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.399. Tontcoin 2400 MHz per second at 167 watts, which gives an efficiency of 14.371. And there we have all the results. Hello, my fellow skipper. If you're wondering how comes my watts are so low, like for example the RTX 3050 only at 50 watts or the RTX 3080 12 gigs only at 145 watts, then it's because I'm using the new very special parameter that you have to plop in. In HiveOS you add it to your extra arguments and in Windows you just add it to your batch file. Now of course since you skipped here you don't actually know what that parameter is, but don't worry it is somewhere hidden very well in the video. And it only requires that you watch the entire video to find it. I hit it very well. Now let's have a look at some of the results. When it comes to the RTX 3060 and all the way up to the RTX 3080 10 gigs, then LOL Miner actually wins hands down. If we have a look at the RTX 3080 12 gigs, then it has gotten a lot worse with LOL Miner for some reason that I honestly cannot explain. The same goes for the RTX 3050. If you have either the RTX 3050 or the RTX 3080 12 gigs, then I feel with you. I know you were hoping I had some kind of magical solution to fix it for you, but no, no, this is how they are, unfortunately. And that is due to them using a new LHR version 3. Yes, it is fantastic. If you don't have either of those cards, then I strongly recommend that you use LOL Miner. It is cheaper fee-wise and it is better overall. And now you ask yourself, is that it? Was that all there was? Yeah, in this video I guess so, but I have a lot of other videos on my channel. Yes, you can go and check out my channel. You can even find the most fabulous video I released a couple of days ago called... I can't actually remember the name. Aha, the new and best LHR Unlock Miner. There I test the exact same two miners in Ethereum mining with LHR Unlock and compare the results. If you are interested in security, then you should really check out my mining over VPN video. Oh, the thumbnail is actually quite ugly. I guess that is the reason why no one ever clicks it. But the video is quite good though. If you liked the video, then consider helping me out by liking, subscribing and sharing the video with someone you know. It actually helps out a lot. See, just like feeding a donkey, it's very good, it makes the donkey happy. Happy donkey is a good donkey, and a happy donkey and a good donkey is a very productive donkey. A very well fed and happy and productive donkey poops a lot and makes a lot of videos. I hope to see you in the next one.